Hey everybody, JJ here. It is Black Friday, November 27th, 2020. And you may say, JJ, why is this cow dancing? Well, this cow's happy because people have stuffed their face with turkey. And even today on Black Friday, a lot of people are still stuffing their face with turkey. And that means less hamburgers getting gobbled up today. All right, we've got a lot of news to cover. Let's get into some information here. The Fed, no surprise. Holds rates steady, near zero. So let's analyze this a little bit. I thought we were in this amazing V-shaped recovery. Yes, there's a few states that are doing the lockdowns. But overall, I thought the economy was improving. So we can see that this lie continues to be rolled out. And any new lockdowns or any new recession rather caused from the lockdowns, that is going to be the main focus. No one's going to tell you that this economy was headed for disaster in the first place and over the last four years we've witnessed an unprecedented run-up in the national debt so if we couldn't pull the economy out of recession with this unprecedented run-up in national debt what will do the trick do we need to run up more debt more stimulus checks is that gonna pull us out of this recession and make everything great again well no of course not because the system is fundamentally flawed the banking system the lending system the currency right the entire system was actually designed to fail designed to put people into debt now if you are careful and you pay your play your cards right or if you're just lucky or fortunate you still may find yourself doing very good during these times but more and more people are slipping into poverty as we talked about a few reports ago just over the three months over the summer seven million more people in the United States fell into poverty and it's pretty simple to see just with the naked eye you don't have to do too much research just look at the food lines uh, we have most people now dependent on some sort of uh, assistance program more than 50 percent of Americans And the next few months are going to be critical for the direction of the United States on one hand we could continue this facade system that actually many people think is functional and can somehow be fixed with more stimulus more debt well too much debt is the problem the, the monetary system is the problem All right? people have essentially accepted debt as the new normal and when the handouts stop then people finally realize that something is wrong and there's a lot of people right now that are falling through the cracks falling into poverty having to move back home with their parents most millennials living back home uh, people that even nine months now after the initial shutdown still have not gotten unemployment benefits. Um, look at all the people that are dependent on food lines now and handouts because they weren't self-sufficient and most people aren't self-sufficient. Just like most people have become accustomed to just being in debt for life, most people feel like they can just go to the store and get food anytime. But what if there's disruptions, supply chain disruptions? All right, we see farms getting wiped out. And people are going to get a shocking wake-up call that this entire system has put people in a dependent status. Instead of independent, it's a dependent status. All right? And it's going to be handout nation, as I said at the beginning of the video. Most people now in the United States, more than 50%, rely on some sort of handout or assistance, some program. And it's only going to increase unless something fundamentally changes. It's going to go to 60%, 70%. And who knows, by the time it's done, it, it'll just maybe the top 10% uh, that will own everything. And the bottom 90% is going to be just dependent on uh, hand downs, handouts, right? Total and utter dependency. And when you look at the wording that comes out of the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset, they don't want you to own anything. They want everyone just to be happy with getting whatever you're given from the people at the top of the pyramid. And one of my biggest fears is they're going to try to continue more lockdowns, more lockdowns. They're going to point to more numbers. They're going to say the cases are rising. And they're going to say we need to lock down, we need to lock down. That's the only excuse for this economic situation. Otherwise, if there were not lockdowns, then what would they blame it on? They would have to actually point to the systemic problems with this entire economic money system, right? which is basically fundamentally flawed. Anytime you can create unlimited amounts of money out of thin air, 
it's going to get misallocated. Why? Because you have people that decide the winners and the losers. They pick the winners and the losers via the rescue programs. Um, the banks right, get unlimited backing, unlimited liquidity. But the day of reckoning is coming up very, very soon. I think we're going to see shocking events fold in the next few months. Shocking. And no matter how low they go with interest rates, ultimately, people get to the end of their rope and they cannot meet these monthly obligations. All right, what's going to happen when people get their, their tax bills now for these overinflated home prices? All right, people are going to be in for a rude, rude awakening. In September, there was a surprise drop in home sales as buyers were priced out. Eventually, people just get tapped out. Low mortgage rates. Uh, forbearance and moratoriums now are creating an illusion uh, that this housing market is not doomed. Um, but this housing market is in big trouble. As soon as the music stops, uh, like I said, there's going to be a, a big rude awakening. And I think it's coming up very soon. All right, Barring some massive debt forgiveness and uh, restructuring of this financial system, we're in for big, big trouble. And believe it or not, there's still... A small group of people out there that they say that there's some sort of uh, massive debt forgiveness and restructuring uh, being planned and uh, I always warn people when you when you see stuff like that or when you see um, when you hear people talking like that try to just ask yourself if it sounds too good to be true it probably is is this uh, just hopium right there's people out there saying that there's gonna be uh, some sort of massive rescue operation and major transformation and they're saying it's coming up in the next couple months so we're at a historic time right now in the history of the country we're going to find out in the next couple months what's gonna happen alright on one hand you've got the forces that want to do infinite lockdowns and they want everyone dependent on the people at the top on the money masters the money machine uh, the peddlers of the uh, fiat funny money. And you have other people that say, hey, we need to wake up and see that we're all basically being played for fools. And we're going to find out in the next few months, are we going to see uh, revelations? Are people going to wake up? Is something big going to happen? Or are we going to go further and further into this debt uh, disaster and despair system right now? Now earlier we talked about people that are slipping through the cracks. Here's a recent story here out of uh, News 8, ABC News 8. Veteran waiting six months for unemployment benefits. All right, so here we have somebody that served our country, um, probably put his life on the line. I'm sure that when he uh, joined, he wasn't sure if he was going to be in combat. Maybe he was, maybe he, maybe he wasn't. But the fact that he even went out there and took the risk to serve our country and now he is not getting unemployment benefits, right? If we as a country cannot even take care of our veterans, all right, there's a big, big problem. And the thing that I want people to be aware of is we shouldn't have to, the government shouldn't have to come out and take care of people. There shouldn't be uh, this level of dependency within a population, right? There shouldn't be this much debt. You shouldn't need handouts of any sort. Right, so we need to free ourselves from these debt chains and it's only going to be a grand awakening and realization of what scam system we're living in right now and how uh, there are people out there that want every American to be begging for assistance and begging for handouts. All right, Some are calling it the dark winter. Um, there's a lot of different things that could unfold in, in the next couple months. Uh, CBS News economists fear a double dip recession is coming soon. Well, I think it's already here. And if you still have a job right now, be very thankful if you have a roof over your head, if you have food. Um, I hope all of you had a nice Thanksgiving dinner, You're doing what you love to do, being with the people that you love to be with. If you're not with friends or family, just hope I hope you're doing the things that you love to do. Um, having time and just uh, the ability to, to do what you love to do is a blessing also. Um, but either way, I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, uh, stay uh, aware of your surroundings. It's going to get very dangerous because as things unfold here in the next couple months, you're going to see, I think, a lot of chaos unfold. 
All right, so keep your wits about you. Uh, stay aware. All right, everybody, that's all for today. Thanks for being here. Peace.